The Fab Five in the Russian Collusion Investigation There can be little doubt that the Russian collusion investigation has captured the attention of the American public, the media and of authorities in all three branches of the US government, and especially the presidency. Some might argue that, in doing so, the issue has distracted attention from even larger national and global issues. Over a year has passed since Mr. James Comey fired the first shot on this issue, which poses a serious dilemma for the United States, with implications that could affect the future of the world more broadly, and at this time there is as yet no end in sight. Without taking any position on the merits of the case, can the outcome be predicted simply on the basis of the general physiognomy features of the key actors involved in the investigation? This is what Professor Quinn Guang Tran has set out to do, drawing on more than 50 years of experience as a practicing physiognomist. Professor Tran is the author of two books, Physiognomy, The Art of Reading People, and Tuong Fat No Hun Yen, both of which provide detailed insights into the principles and applications of the physiognomy teachings of the great Vietnamese physiognomist No Hun Yen. Professor Tran has made hundreds of predictions using his deep knowledge of physiognomy, including on such prominent cases as the fate of Princess Diana, the legacy of President Obama, the disappearance of Malaysian Airlines flight MH370, and the result of the 2016 US presidential elections. Here are Professor Tran's views on the likely outcome of the Russian collusion investigation based on the physiognomy of five key actors involved in the investigation. Attorney General Jeff Sessions, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller, President Donald Trump, and President Trump's counsel Rudy Giuliani. Jeff Sessions has a physiognomy set that comprises a round, undersized body shape and slightly crossed eyes. The facial area from the nose down to the chin is dull brown and wrinkled, especially around the jaws. The ridges on his forehead are not symmetrical and are broken, and the face is covered by a smoky, cold, dark blue color. In addition, his cheekbone areas are concave and have some dark ovals. Finally, at times, his eyes have a weak countenance. A person with a physiognomy set that includes a round form, undersized body shape, and slightly crossed eyes is very clever and can quickly sense danger and is always able to find a way out for himself. The physiognomy features from the nose to the chin indicate a difficult later life with the possibility of many torments. The physiognomy features of the forehead and its broken ridges combined with the bad color on the forehead are signs of struggles relating to his position and fame. Finally, concave cheekbones and dark ovals signify that a person is not aligned with his colleagues. The physiognomy sets put together from the above features help to identify and understand Jeff Sessions' actions in this investigation. In particular, his physiognomy features can help to explain his behavior from the beginning of the Russian collusion investigation and his likely behavior in the future, and to predict that he is unlikely to make an impartial and fair contribution to this investigation. Rod Rosenstein has, as key physiognomy features, a heavy upper and light lower face, overexposed eyes, a fire-blowing mouth, pointy ears, and broken eyebrows. These physiognomy features show that, when facing serious stress or panic, the person tends to attack with deadly blows, but the results may not turn out as expected. Therefore, based on his physiognomy features, he's more likely to cause trouble than to contribute in resolving the Russian collusion probe. Robert Muller has some precious physiognomy features and also some destructive physiognomy features. It should be noted that for any person one destructive feature can cancel out ten good features. Mr. Muller's precious physiognomy features include symmetrical, even, fine and clear forehead ridges, a bright fame zone on his forehead, authority eyes, cap hair, and eyebrows as well as eye bag features that are fine, bright, balanced, and incredibly well postured. He has a square jaw with fully developed jaw corners, 
thread biting lips, a curled up chin, a clear and full glabella, a round nose tip with wealth signs, wavy cheek muscles, and watery ridges that run along the tails of his eyes. Uh, Mr. Muller's destructive physiognomy features comprise pointy ears with pointed earlobes, outwardly turned lines on his ears, fishing line hair, and yin skin. A person with the above physiognomy features is often assigned important and covert tasks. Since the physiognomy features representing his goodwill are well in line with the features representing his responsibilities, he always exercises prudence in his work. Additionally, when making decisions, he is very determined. Opponents who want to challenge him must have great debating skills in order to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. And one should never lie to a person with his features, because no one is able to get away from his authority eyes. Having skin with more yin substance drives him to completely trust his aides when making decisions. However, this is likely to cause trouble for him in future. His uneven cheeks, covered by a mix of bright and dark colors, combined with a heavy dark brown jaw and destructive ears, form a physiognomy set that point to a person who will be placed in a serious situation because of AIDS in his inner circle. The analysis above helps to explain the deadlock on the Russian collusion investigation in light of Mr. Muller's personality combined with the overwhelming influence of his subordinates. President Donald Trump's physiognomy, in both countenance and form, comprises a mix of the features of a dragon, a lion, and a wolf. A person with a square form and countenance should have a square forehead, face, and body. The president's forehead is flat like a screen, and his eyes, eyebrows, and eye bags are fine and fully developed with impressive posture. His countenance is abundant. The cheekbones and the mun zones below them form a full, solid, and firm block. He has a strong nose, thread-biting lips, a curled-up chin with fine and bright colors, good ears that have well-formed rins with curvy and succulent, i.e. full and honey-colored earlobes, as well as silky and light hair. A person who has the above physiognomy features is a national hero. He is direct and upright due to his square form and countenance, and is the type of person who is determined to pursue his goals once he sets his mind of them, on them, regardless of the circumstances. He also enjoys facing his opponents and taking on problems head on. In his life, he will have opportunities to do great things for his country. However, if he does mean and trifling things, he can face catastrophic failures. He will enjoy his old age because he has curvy and succulent earlobes, silky hair, eyes with strong countenance, and a curled up chin. President Trump's physiognomy features are the opposite of those of Mr. Muller. Apart from the common feature of a square face, the other features are almost inverses to each other, in line with the physiognomy laws of soulmates versus sworn foes. The opposing features include the following. Mr. Trump's chest is raised when he walks, while that of Mr. Muller bends down. Mr. Trump's eyes are long, while Mr. Muller's eyes are short. Mr. Trump's cheekbones and the mun zones below them form a full, solid, and firm block, while those of Mr. Muller are thinner and wavy. Moreover, their square jaw corners are very distinct. The difference in their features and in their countenance, Mr. Trump has more yang substance, while Mr. Muller has more yin substance, shows that Mr. Trump looks at the issue from the big picture perspective, while Mr. Muller focuses on the details. Mr. Muller's team will have more advantages if they have plenty of time for the investigation. On the other hand, President Trump's team can gain the higher ground if they can recruit someone who is strategic, knowledgeable with regard to the Russian collusion probe, talented in public debating, and was a strong stamina to deal with Robert Mueller's investigative approach. Based on observing the physiognomies of Mr. Trump's major supporters during the 2016 U.S. presidential elections, Rudy Giuliani is a strong choice to help Mr. Trump deal with Mr. Mueller's team. Rudy Giuliani has a square face, coconut head, 
and a fully developed forehead with thin skin on his forehead. He also has long, small, vivacious and rolled-in pupil eyes, deeply hidden under the eyebrow bones. The areas around the eyes are full of yin substance. His jaws are long and fully developed. Other prominent facial features include bow lips, a curled up chin and pulled up ears. A person with the above physiognomy features is very clever, lucky and patient. He has a special talent in convincing people. He's loyal, straightforward, ethical and is able to deal with anyone, drawing on great diplomatic flair. Mr. Giuliani will take on an assignment regardless of his fears and reservations about the assignment. Therefore, he can cover both large and minuscule aspects of an issue. A person with his physiognomy features is a great asset in the defense team for President Trump on the Russian collusion probe. In concluding, independently of the merits of the case and based solely on a physiognomy analysis of the key actors involved in the Russian collusion investigation, Professor Tran concludes the following. Before Mr. Rudy Giuliani was recruited by President Trump to lead his legal team, the Russian collusion investigation could have gone on indefinitely with no clear end in sight. However, the arrival of Mr. Giuliani will improve communications between the President's team and Mr. Mueller's team. Moreover, whatever the final findings of the investigation may be, a reading of Mr. Giuliani's physiognomy indicates that he is likely to contribute in an important way to an earlier, more orderly and transparent closure of the process.